Dear students, today we will discuss about scope of quality assurance in the software development. So what does it mean from the quality assurance in software that we want to guarantee that the software being built or being developed is of high quality? And the scope of this quality assurance has broadened uh, with the passage of time and with the new inventions and broad knowledge coming into the software engineering field. So the early years of computing, we were only saying that software quality assurance is just meant to identify programming errors. That's it. So if there is any programming error, that need to be identified and we say that it is the scope. This is the only thing that software quality assurance does. So the Department of Software Quality Assurance in the early ages was just meant to identify programming errors. However, nowadays software quality assurance has a broad scope. So it says that improvement of software engineering procedures. So we should keep on studying, keep on researching that what are different procedures available in software engineering and how can we improve. Then we should development of training programs that in many cases lead to certifications of software quality assurance. And then we should also establish standards on which sound software engineering can be based. So such standards are being built by different companies like International Standard Organization, ISO, IEEE and ACM. So we have learned different standards of these companies or the, these authorities in different modules. So they establish standards for assessing quality control within software development companies. For example, ISO 9000 is a series of standards which address numerous industrial activities such as design, production, installation and servicing. So how these things should be carried out actually in the software development. Then uh, software quality assurance uh, is a department nowadays available in almost all software houses and software contractors now require that organizations meet such standards and they have then software quality assurance groups. So what they do? They are involved throughout uh, the development of the software starting from requirement analysis until the testing. So for example, in waterfall model, uh, which we learned in previous modules, software quality assurance approves software requirement specification document before design can be started. So if SQA doesn't confirm, doesn't allow or doesn't approve the SRS, the next level of design stage cannot be started. So similarly, the design documents need to be approved by SQA before the implementation can be started in waterfall model. So if we conclude today's module, we have learned about that how software quality assurance has uh, evolved in number of years from only identifying the programming errors into making the standards and establishing the ways that how a stable software can be constructed. We have learned about quality standards and software quality assurance groups available in each software houses.